Hello and welcome to Kingsmead for the second KFC T20 International. It is South Africa versus Australia. Jason Berendorf into the team for Spencer Johnson. And the skipper of Australia, Mitchell Marsh, said it's a rest for Spencer Johnson. Yes. Little bit of shape. Gentle out swing. Good evening, Chris Morris. Opens the face of the blade. Bowler will say, I beat him. Batter will say, I placed it there. Outcome, four runs. Shot, oh, that is beautiful. What a shot. Shot, six runs. Catch! In the gap, aerial for a bit, and there were shouts of catch it. But it's gone for four more. It's in the gap. It's in the gap. And it's off to the fence again. There's no stopping him. It's gone straight up in the air. Keeper's catch. Inglis makes no mistake. And Bafuma's stay at the crease has been a good one, despite it being short. 35 of 17 is a fabulous start. But an excellent innings from Temba Bubuma. Got to go for 35. South Africa, 36 for one. And go he does. Deposited in the crowd. Fabulous shot for six. Oh, close, close, close. In front, the finger's gone up. Ball tracking came up, Steven, original decision out, impact in line, wickets hitting, Steven stay with the original position of out. All right, there's confirmation. I tell you what, it was quite astounding as a, as a review. I mean, he's right in front. He asked his mate as well and oof, went up wasted. 44 for two. Gone, surely that's out, that's out. Wonderful this, Ellis into the attack and he too with a wicket. South Africa 46 for three. Oh, Australia, goodness gracious. Yes, South Africa in a little bit of strife. Previous goes for a duck, 46 for four. Ellis on a hat trick. Oh, nearly, nearly did too much. Catch. Almost risk free ways like that. That's beautifully played. That's beautifully caressed over extra cover. A much needed boundary for South Africa. They've been few and far between as of late. And that's a quality shot. Wow. That is six. What a shot. Tristan Stubbs on strike to Zampa. Gives it a thump down the ground. Oh, there's some power in this boy. And another one slammed down the ground. I tell you, the more I see of it with these bats and the power of the players. Out! Went early. And trying to help it over a short third man. And the response from Berendorf was to take all the pace off. And he was on target too. 97 for five. Straight up in the air. Catch taken comfortably. The wickets continue to tumble. It's the Aussies all over the Proteas here at Kingsmead only succeeds in presenting a catch. It's gone for eight. It's 106 for six. Shot. Well played. Good use of the feet. Depth of the crease to make that short. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's a wonderful shot. Oh, that's great placement. 
So he held his body shape. Didn't try to hit it too hard. He's made sure of the gap. That's the best of the lot. Glorious stroke play from the South African captain. Oh, that is a soft dismissal. Infuriated is Gerald Kutsia. But Nathan Ellis has run rings around him in the balls that he's had to face that over. High class bowling. 18 gone, 147 for seven. Gerald Kutsia's got to go for 11. 47 for seven. And he's out. Caught on the cover boundary. You can barely believe it. He's picked the man out. Barely had to move a muscle. Matthew Short is the fielder out there. Such a shame for Aidan Markram falling just a single run short of his 10th 50. He's got to go for a very well played 49. South Africa 149 for eight. The oh, good shot, Lungi and Gidi got away and had a swing. And now he's smacked one over extra cover. Be worth a couple. The innings will close at a oh, total around par, maybe just, just below par, hard to be sure. There's something to bowl at, that's the key. Something to bowl at with a decent attack. We'll need early wickets, yes. 164 for eight is the final score. 13 for Nguyeni and just one for Williams. He debuted 164 for eight in the end. A target of 165 for the Australians to win. If they do so, they take this. What a shot. Shot. Yeah, really well played. Shot. And easy put away that for head with the width there. You can just throw the hands at it. Catch it. Shots of catch it. There's enough bats on it to get it over mid on. Wow. No oh, dumbbells there. He's done a few for his biceps. It's gone for six. I think that was a golf ball, honestly. The way he's hit that. Shot. Very clear on what he's going to do. Travis Head and commits fully. In the air, out. Hit back of a length really hard that time for a second time in a row. And a head trying to go again at him to hit him over the top. Travis Head goes for 18, 32 for one. What a shot. This time leg side, there's a fielder there, but he can only watch as it sails for six. Once it's given air these days in the modern T20 matches, it's just downtown. Given air, and that's going to disappear. Deep and wicked, is there a one-handed catch in the crowd? No, it goes down, but it's a quality over for Australia. And backing up the last one, 18 off this one, 79 for one. This is smeared, this is the whole way. Another chance for one-handed catch, and down it goes again. Quality striking. And it's a little bit of width, opens the face, ends the over with the boundary. Another powerful hit to the boundary, so too short this time. And Gerald Kutsia, who's normally a man to turn to in a crisis, a man with a huge heart, a man for the trenches, not quite on his game here. Oh, that's a great shot. Picked it up, swung with the length. Australia are racing the victory. One, two, three for one. Who can hit it? 
so far, so hard. And we do, do we? What do we have in the crowd there? There's cheers for a catch. Yes. And that'll be out. Although, to Tabaret Shamsi, he'll be very relieved and very pleased. Matthew Short goes for 66. He takes the route back to the dressing room. Come attacking at like that 66 of 30 balls. Amazing knock in Australia, 132 for two. Only 29 needed now. Ball, PJ. That's a good land. That's a better land, and that's the land that Bjorn Kutain usually bowls. At his peak, he's wicked to wicked. He, that's 50 for Mitch Marsh. Up, up, and away is the story of the day. And again, he hasn't really got that one, but it's six more. That is a captain's innings, and it is completed in fine style. Victory for Australia, a stunning margin, eight wickets, 31 balls to spare. And there's the margin, eight wickets in favour of the Australians. They've taken this three-match series by two to nothing, of course. One game to play, they'll want to wrap it up with an equally convincing performance, such as their high level of confidence. Very much a case of Aussie, Aussie, Aussie.